Hello friends. So over to the next problem. Uh, this problem is on simple pendulum. Okay, let us see what is asked over there. Uh, the period of a simple pendulum changes by 10% when its length is increased by 20 cm. Find the original length and time period of this pendulum. Okay. Now, first of all, I'll write down the formula for time period. It is t is equal to 2 pi root over l upon g. Correct. So, if initially, if my period is t1 and length is l1, correct, this is the formula. This is how it would look. So, this is my expression number 1. Correct. Now, they say uh, the period changes by 10%. Okay, they have not said it increases or decreases. But then, they have said that its length is increased by 20 cm. So, now, if you look at the formula, if length increases, the time period increases correct so that means that my uh, you know on changing the length on increasing the length my time period will increase by 10 percent correct so my t2 uh, okay i'll just put it t2 here and 2 pi root over l2 upon g correct and my l2 is equal to l1 plus 20 centimeter that is 0 0.2 meter and uh, t2 is equal to t1 into add 10 percent more so that would be 1.1 here correct so these are um, uh, you know the changes in the time period and the length okay now if we call this as expression number two and then we do um, maybe uh, 1 upon 2 or 2 upon 1 i would do 1 upon 2 here 1 upon 2 gives me T1 upon, now what is my T2? T2 is 1.1 T1. Okay, so it's 1.1 T1. That is equal to 2 pi is going to get cancelled and uh, we are going to have this L1 upon L2. So that is under root sign. So L1 upon, what is my L2? Is it not L1 plus 0 0.2 meter? Correct. So obviously this T1 and T1, uh, uh, it is it is going to get cancelled. So what we are left with is 1, 1 upon 1.1 is equal to L1 upon L1 plus 0 0.2 and that under root sign. Correct. So let us square it. So 1 upon 1.21, I am squaring this 1.1 to 1.21 and that would be equal to L1 upon L1 plus 0 0.2 so that keeps us therefore um, L1 plus 0 0.2 is equal to 1.21 L1 and then if I take this L1 on the other side what I get is 0 0.21 L1 is equal to 0 0.2 and therefore L1 would be equal to now 0 0.2 upon 0 0.2 Two one would be would be point um, let us divide point nine five it would be approximately correct so now okay so find the original length so this part has been done okay and time period so for time period obviously you know I'll have to substitute this value in this formula so now I'm going to erase this okay uh, I would say t1 is equal to 2 pi root over 0 0.95 upon um, 9.81 maybe here okay now how would you do this calculation so what you need to do is you have to uh, take this ratio take square root of that and multiply that by 2 pi. You can substitute value for pi as uh, 3.1415 or 3.142. Uh, maybe you can use calculator or any other means which you are allowed to use in the examination and get the time period of this pendulum as so many seconds. Correct. So here, uh, what was the learning in this problem? The learning was you should know, you should have, you should know the formula number one 
how the time period varies with length okay if you increase the length it increases if you decrease the length it is going to decrease that that is what you need to know and then um, make appropriate substitutions right so if it is increasing it is increasing it is changing by 10 percent okay it is increased by 20 centimeter okay i can also say that the period of simple pendulum changes by 10 percent when the length is increased by 20 percent by 20 percent okay so over there you need to so over, over here what i did i did l2 is equal to l1 plus 0 0.2 but then if i increase the length by 20 percent then i would say l2 is equal to 1.2 times l1 so those things you should uh, you know notice or read properly while dealing with this problems right in the next video we are going to have one more interesting problem thank you so much